Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to use some of the shortcuts that are available into Visual Studio Code. This is an editor for coding. So if you want to code faster and you have this uh, uh, studio, I mean this uh, Visual Studio Code, you could actually utilize some of the uh, shortcut to code real quick. So let's get in it and Please don't also forget to come to our channel and uh, subscribe and like our videos. I mean, the one that you find useful. So let's go and uh, start uh, to learn how to use this um, shortcut. So for example, if you ha want to hide this part, you could just do Control B or Command B on window. But also, you can actually untoggle it back by Control B again, and then it will come. The same, you can do the same for the terminal by press Control and back tick for it to disappear, and then Control back tick again to make it come back. If you're working with a lot of files, you'll be maybe sometimes facing some hard time to get a right to search around for the file that you want and stuff so you could use command p and then search maybe the the specific um, file that you want and then open it like that very quick if you have like a very big file like this and you you don't want to scroll like this all the way down or up you can just um use um command and the arrow and then you go up or command and arrow down and then you go all the way down to the file maybe you want to split your monitor or you want to use two file in the same window so you could just uh, press control and then backslash and then the window will split like that but also you could just close it by command i mean control w and then it will go away control slash and then it will come and then you can just like open like this and then you can just close like control w and it will close like that if you ever notice sometimes css has a very long um, words so you could use abbrevi abbreviation to make it simple for example if you want to write display grid you could just do d g and then it will happen here if you want to display maybe grid template column you could just say g t c and then it will happen like this it's very easy i think this way if you know what you're going to type so you could just take the first letters i mean abbreviate it and then you get quickly around also you could use a very good shortcut i mean not a, the best but still it helped a lot because most of the time maybe after you write something maybe display grid you have to navigate around and come all the way here while you can just say control control and then press enter it will start a new line and then you can just uh, type my background black and then press control enter again and then you come to the next line i think that is much easier than just navigate with your mouse from here to here i mean to here sometimes it's happened a lot maybe you have a word i mean reputation of a word and then you want to change them like maybe to something else like this shortcut it, you can see it's appeared to so many areas so you want to select all of them and then change so all you can do is just like select them like this one of it and then you press ctrl shift and um l and then you you press Control Shift and L. As you can see, they're all selected. Then you can just replace them with something else. Maybe is code. Something like that. 
but sometimes maybe you don't want to re to replace all of them you want to know exactly where you want to put some new stuff and others you want to left maybe you want only to put um, to replace this code and is code in these three lines and they let the rest you want to let them become like they are so the first thing you have to just select this and then you control d you see the monitor is this uh, custom it's on the uh, next line this h1 and then you can if you you press ctrl d again you'll see it's move on the next one and then on another one then you can just delete this and then maybe put shortcut You can see it only changed here, but it didn't change here. So it's opposite to the other method. This is actually very good. Sometimes maybe you want to duplicate some codes, like it's re repetition and stuff, especially with the HTML. It's so it's happened a lot of time that you want to duplicate something and then maybe change only few things. So for example, if you want to duplicate this paragraph, I'll just select it and then press um, shift alt and then the arrow down arrow where you want to duplicate it like this but if i want to duplicate it upward i'll guess maybe to work as well you see you can duplicate it both side up or down i think this is very uh good shortcuts especially for HTML when you're doing html but sometimes maybe you want to move something from maybe this group here to another part. So you, I mean, it would be sometimes easier to just type it, but it could also save a lot of time just to move it some like by the command, short command, like, con, I mean, uh, alt, and then you take the arrow, and then you can place it where you want. I find it very, um, easy way than typing the entire thing for example if you have a um, big sentence like this and then you want to move it around instead of copy and paste you could just uh control i mean alt and then you can press the up key i mean arrow or like down arrow to move exactly where you want it to be it's very good shortcut as well so you can also so you can also like select a bunch of line and press alt and arrow maybe down and to shift them to uh, one place to another very convenient so if you have a um, new shortcut and stuff please don't forget to share in the comments section it will be so helpful for someone else to learn also for me also to learn please don't hesitate to share your um, shortcuts to make a uh, life of coding easier